I'm going to show you how to configure three routers for EIGRP. So these three routers have interfaces all connected up, but there are no IP addresses configured on the interfaces. So let's go ahead and do that first. So first I get into router one, enable that, conf t, and it has two interfaces, gigabit ethernet 01 and 00. So I'll do 00 first. So int g0 slash 0. And it's IP address 192.168.0.1, mask of 255.255.255.0. No shut. Then I do int g0 slash 1, the other side. And we'll do IP address 192.168.0. Actually, 1.1, 1 .1, 255.255.255.0. No shut. down on that one as well. All right, so that interface, those interfaces are there and up. And let's go to this one right here. Enable conf t, and we'll do int g0 slash 1, which is the one that's uh, the 192.168.1, a uh, 0.0. .0. slash 24 network. And I'll do IP address. 192.168.0.2 give it a slash 24 mask no shut that should activate and then the bottom one so we have the, the dot 0 and 1 so I'll do the bottom one as int g0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.2.1 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown as well here. So this last device, router 3, I'll go into here, int g0 slash 0, which is the one, oops, int g0 slash 0, which is the one going to the top, router, router 1. Uh, IP address 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.0. No shut. And then I do the bottom one. Int g0 slash 1. IP address 192.168.2.2.255.255.255.0. No shut. Alright, sitting from this one. You can see that this one should be connected to the 192.168.0 and dot, actually dot one and dot two networks. However, it shouldn't be able to ping anything in the dot zero network. It kind of can, but kind of can't, and well, it actually just can't. All right, so let's do a show IP route thing. You can see which networks it is directly connected to. So the one and the two network but it is not connected to the zero. So it can't ping anything over there. So if I type ping 192.168.0.1, it can't ping it. It has no gateway of last resort. If I set the gateway, gateway of last resort to one of the routers here, it might be able to get to the network, but then how does it get back? So now I'm gonna set up EIGRP. I will start with uh, this router, it's router three. So I go into global configuration mode I type in router, EIGRP, and I have to give it an AS number. So I'll just use the AS number of 1. And then I'm going to assign it a, a router ID. Normally the router ID is the, is actually, you can use the router ID command. So EIGRP router ID command and give it an IP address. Or if it doesn't have that in place, it will use the loopback address. And if it doesn't have that one, it'll use one of the regular IP addresses. For IP version 6, when you're doing EIGRP, it's very critical that you set a router ID because otherwise it won't have one here. Um, unless you have IP version 4 as well. So I'll make this one 3.3.3.3. .3 and then it's nice and fixed. Now I need to identify which interfaces are going to be communicating. So I'm part of the, the 192.168.1 1 and 2 networks. So I'll do network 192.168.1.0 .1 
and I need to give it a wildcard mask. All I can do is a submit mask, and it'll just automatically convert it for me. But I'll do two, so zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five, or I could just do two five five two five five two five five zero, and it'll convert it to this. And there we go. It knows about that one, and it's going to try to set up adjacencies with um, routers down that line. I also need network. 192.168.2.0.000255. Now, if I had interfaces I did not want to participate, I could list those as well. Since I don't have any interfaces I don't want participating, um, I can't add them, but normally I would do a passive interface and do something like G0 slash 2 if I wanted to prevent that one from well, participating. However, it doesn't exist, so we're fine. All right, next I go to the next router. So I'll go to router 2. And router 2, I'm going to set up its configurations as well. So this one's connected to the the 2 and the 0. So I set out here, router EIGRP, and it has to be the same AS number, so 1. I'll set my EIGRP router ID. EIGRP router ID, and this will be 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 since it's router 2. And I want to tell it which networks it's connected to. So it is connected to network work 192.168.0.0 with the wildcard mask of 000 and 255. And I also want to do the same thing, but I'm connected to the 2 network. When I connect to, to the 2 network, immediately it forms an adjacency with the other router, router 3, which is already up, and then they can start exchanging data about their routing tables. At this point, router 3 should know how to get all the way over to that network between router 2 and router 1, and it should be able to get back. However, if you were to ping router 1's IP address from router 3, router 3 wouldn't necessarily know how to get back to router two, or router, uh, router three. So router one, router three, maybe pings don't work quite right. So exit out of that, and then go to router one. And I'll do exit out of here, router EIGRP, and give it the AS number of one, and this one's going to be EIGRP router ID of 1.1.1.1 and now I want to tell the networks I'm connected to and I'm connected to network network 192.168.0.0 with a wildcard mask of a bunch of zeros and then a 255 and it suddenly forms an adjacency with router 2 so that's up and then I give it the network going to router 3 and it forms an adjacency with router 3. At this point, everything should be active. Because it's EIGRP, it has a very fast convergence time, so all the information should be shared and should be available. So if I go into my privilege executive mode, I can do some show commands. So show IP EIGRP neighbors, and I can see which my neighbors are. So you can see the order of the neighbors were collected, the address of the neighbor, the interface, and hold down timers are how long it's going to keep that information before it throws it away if it doesn't receive hello updates, the uptime, and a bit of other information there. All right, I also want to look at the show IP protocols command, and you can see that one of the protocols is EIGRP1. So we've got EIGRP1, and we can see that it's up, and we can see the metrics that are being used. These are the default metrics, so K1 is uh, being used, and K3 is being used. You have a uh, load and reliability that are not being used, but that's what's being used right there. And so it's, it's up and ready to go. The last thing we do to look at to verify we can get everything working is because we're in router 1, the line between router 2 and 3 is not normally available, but 
because we have the routing protocols in place, we should be able to show IP route and see that we have, in fact, learned about the route between those two via the EIGRP, which has the D code, so EIGRP. And we can see where we learned it from. We can see that there are actually two different ways that are load balanced, and so we can load balance between the two of them to get there. And this is how we configure EIGRP, or basic EIGRP configuration for routers.